Well, is we he fully? Well, we've got another episode oh, yeah. to go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he didn't do it. Who did do it? That's what everybody's asking. The beard makes a difference you like you it. as an actor. Yeah. Well, I just think it completely transformed you. Yeah, I don't know where the big idea came from. It just, uh, it just happened, I think. It just came out. I think How it long did it take you to grow that? Oh, it took a while. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of concentration. <laughs> it makes you more likely to be the killer, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <It's quite> <laughs> <up> <laughs> well, it does. I just think he's more sinister <laughs> yeah. with it. I think if you look at all the serial killers that maybe have had a beard. I, oh, I yeah. love this draw. I, I binge-watched three yeah. so I was kind of out, but I love it. Um, and last night I was so thrilled for him. I was like, yes, yeah. he's exonerated. And then I have this little niggling doubt about him because he's... He's very quick and handy with his fists. That's it, he? yeah. His temper's been born through being inside and, you know, wanting to, to get out there mm. and, and, and speak out. And nobody will listen to him. And I think also being back in a society that just don't want, doesn't want him there. Yeah. It's just become... So, but I think that's what's great about the writing is it, you think you're feeling safe with him and then... Yeah. It's very clever. You see, the, the other thing is, Ruth is naturally assuming that events will be concluded and tied up tonight. Yeah. And I just wonder, I just wonder, there's the possibility that maybe things aren't resolved tonight or that you could carry this through to a second series. series. No, it's got, a, it's, got a, it's got an ending. It will okay. resolve. It will resolve. We will find out. You will done. find out what, what's gone on. Um, did they tell you early doors? whether he was innocent or not. Well, it's quite hard to play, isn't it? It is, yeah. So I, I, I needed to know. Because yeah. it is hard to play. I, I don't know how you play if you're kind of playing that yeah. game of going, well, I'll, I'll, I'll surprise myself later on. Yeah. Well, no, I got the script. They have two endings, don't they? It was so, they yeah, so no, it was, it, they, the, the writers knew exactly where it was going. Yeah. So they, uh, See, so they the did. thing is, of course, when you look at all the characters, even when you begin and you, you set out and you think, well, it's not his brother. His brother's there, he stood by him. Um, but it could be his sister-in-law. Yeah. When you actually look around, it's like an Agatha Christie, isn't it? It is, it, it is. Be... They've all got little reasons, you know, something to gain, something to hide. They've all got secrets and lies, I think. And that's the brilliance of its writing again, is you keep going down these avenues and then it gets discounted and you're onto the... Yeah. And people love to guess. I think that I, even I do when I was reading it, you know. But I, then I skipped to the end. And when you did read it, yeah. did you love it straight away? I did. I, I just loved the... I think it was the opening that grabbed me straight away, yeah. just beginning at... The end, yeah. if you know what I mean. The end of his trial is, you know, so yeah. you, you don't worry about what happened before. It goes straight into him being released. And the thought of being imprisoned for seven years yeah. for something you didn't do is yeah. horrific, isn't it? And also, and also being released on, you know, thinking you've been sentenced to life and then suddenly the but, doors are open. Well, but then right? people still don't believe well, you. Well, absolutely, because it, it was never acquitted, you know. It's... Well, here's, here's the intensity that some people follow this through. If you go into a police investigation room, they'll have big charts and they'll have all sorts of pie <laughs> charts <laughs> and uh, arrows pointing here and there. Now, this is Callie, who on Twitter has just posted this, and she says, if you're going to watch an ITV drama, you may as well try and work out who the killer is, That's right? That's very detailed, isn't really... it? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and if you did... Um, you know, close in on that. You can just see all the people, <laughs> Rob Moffat, Alice Moffat, Tom, yeah. Phil Collins, the singer. Yeah, and, <laughs> he's in there somewhere. He's in the... uh, yeah, even D.I. Will. That's uh, brilliant. On, I saw that, I saw that as well, and I thought, God, she's got some really good points in there. Yeah. Where was it filmed, Lee? We filmed it, we filmed it in a couple of places. We filmed it just north of Dublin. In oh, north. this whole mess indeed it is, it is but tonight is. all will be revealed. Uh, it's great to see you, Lee. Thank I'm you really much. enjoying yeah. it. That's Innocent, the finale. Do not miss it tonight, ITV at 9pm. Thank you so much. My great role for you. Well done, well done.